So tell me about Forward. What's the problem? Where does it sit? What are you guys up to? And then we can talk a little bit why and where that fits in. And I think what's interesting is there's a lot of people who are very early to the AI boom and getting sort of drawn in by the gold rush. And then there's folks who are sort of like, I've been in the mountains, trilling and mining and uh, sure. everybody's showing up. And I think you're much more in that ladder camp with a lot of this, given sort of the background in the space prior. I will go one step back. So I'm a product person, right? And for me, product is always around the data that you can really put on your plate to understand what's going on, right? And I'm a big fan of product analytics. I've used all the products until today. And the reason that I started forward is that in WalkMe, we had a problem that we wanted to try and predict churn. And the way we wanted to do so is by utilizing product usage. And we said, you know what? Let's take all of the product usage, all the features that we release. Let's measure usage of different users and accounts. And let's try to see if we can correlate usage to churn. So we invented the new metric. We called it adoption score. And we treated like a credit score in the US. Similarly, you know, zero to 800. So people can really easily understand it. So think about a customer success person trying to understand the health of their customers. They're going and through many dashboards, Salesforce, Tableau, some product data, asking questions on Slack. It's not scalable. So what we want to do, we want to compress all of the signals and put like a traffic light in Salesforce. By the way, using WalkMe, right? So we had the data. Then I built like a big team. And we needed to buy a data warehouse. We needed to set up an ETL. We needed data operations people. Then after we built the model, we needed more people to integrate the model back into Salesforce so the CS folks can really see the data back in Salesforce. And after that, I realized that it's great that we built the first model, but the data is keep on changing. We need to constantly update it. And I stopped there and I said, there must be a better way. How can I productize it so I can reduce the barrier. So I can reduce the number of people who work to do that. I can reduce the cost of the infrastructure and instead of a year, take it down to a week. And that's exactly what Forward is. Forward is basically mm. automating this very complex, heavy process that most chances that internally you can't solve it. And even if you can solve it, you're not focusing on your business. So you don't want to solve it internally. So if I'm going to go and install forward, what do I need in place already? If you're describing, hey, we went and implemented this thing. We had to set up data warehousing. We had to connect all these systems. Is it you're going to go and connect everything that already exists? I already have to have a data warehouse that's provisioned and then you're connecting to that. Or where do I have to be on that maturity scale for something like forward to be of value to me? The goal of forward is basically to improve your internal day-to-day -day business processes. Let's pick a process. Let's pick, I don't know, lead qualification, for example, a very common process. Most companies solve it via a very simple lead scoring that they implement in HubSpot, right? Salesforce, Marketo, whatever, right? And lead scoring up until now, it's basically a set of rules. I call it the mm -hmm. casino model. Yeah. Why the casino model? The casino because model? Just, the casino model, because you just guess. <laughs> If the sure, title sure, is a VP, sure, sure, sure. if you have more than five content, if they answer the email, yeah. you just give them points, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as I told you before, you don't know the context. Yeah. If someone answered an email in an enterprise company, it should be weighted differently than if someone answered an email in a small company. Right? Sure. This is why it's the casino model, because it's nonsense. It's not the truth. So in order to improve the process, you already have the data in Marketo, right? In Salesforce, whatever. So you connect the data that you already have to forward and you define what you want to optimize. So generally lead scoring or lead qualification, you want to optimize the number of sales qualified leads that you produce. So you provide forward with this specific goal, how you define a sales qualified lead and forward will reverse engineer your entire data set, will clean it and will build an AI model that will show you which factors and values are relevant are impacting your sales qualified leads and will help you to predict on a daily basis which leads will become SQL. And the same goes to sales forecasting, the same goes to identifying churn, upsell, cross-sell. So think about all those processes that you have today and you implement them manually. Think about adding AI to these processes and think about what's the optimization that you can drive.